Good morning and welcome to BBI's e-learning. Our subject for today is computing. Our strand is programming and databases. Our substrand is introduction to databases, algorithm and programming. Our topic for discussion is introduction to databases. Databases are simply containers for data. For example, a public library stores books. So we could say that a library is a database of books. But somehow a database can be explained simply in this manner. It's like a shopping list with lots of things in it, such as apples, oranges, bread, eggs, milk, bananas, cereal, and so on and so forth. Now, when people want what's on the list, they go lane by lane, like in the store, and find bananas and apples in the same lane. Now, you can also see a database is like a toy box that contains all your toys of different colors. Now, if you need red toys, you open the box and get your red toys. As simple as that. Now, databases are defined as computer structures that save, organize, protect, and deliver data. Now, data is just a raw, unprocessed fact. Now, these data are processed into meaningful information to make decisions easier to be made. Now, a system that contains databases is called a database management system. In information technology, organizations or institutions every now and then gather and use large amounts of data. Now, these institutions such as schools, hospitals, banks, and government sectors use the database to save, organize, and protect and deliver data. Now, to make this possible, every database environment must have three components. Now, these components are one, an administrator or an admin, two, a user, and three, the database itself. Now, there are several types of database, namely IBM DB2, MS Access, MS Excel, SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle RD, BMS, and so on and so forth. Functions of DBMS. DBMS is Database Management System in full. A DBS provides the following functions. One, stores data. Two, backups data and recovers if a problem arises. Three, gives access control to multiple users. Four, sets security rules to determine access rights of users. Five, reports and presents data. Six, provides a description of data. Now let's recap our topic. Databases are defined as computer structures that save, organize, protect, and deliver data. This data is then processed into meaningful information. And every database environment must have three components. That is an administrator, a user, and the database. There are several types of databases, namely IBM DB2, MS Access, MS Excel, SQL Server, and so on and so forth. Functions of DBMS. One, it stores data. Two, backups data and recovers if a problem arises. Three, gives access control to multiple users. Four, sets security rules to determine access rights of users. Five, reports and presents data. And six, provides a description of data. 
Now answer the following questions. Number one, what is a database? Number two, what name is given to a system that contains databases? Number three, mention the elements or components of a database environment. Number four, what is the importance of a database? Number five, list four types of databases. Six, state three functions of a database management system. Thank you and God bless you.